zip line project that's been the source of controversy for months became the scene of a protest today in Pike County in what they're calling an act of civil disobedience. Two people locked themselves through a state forest gate to try and stop tree cutting in the area. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Dable is live in our Scranton newsroom with the details. Eric. Drew, good evening. Environmental groups have been trying to block this seven-mile pipeline upgrade for several months. That pipeline upgrade is proposed by the Tennessee Gas Pipeline Company. They want to build it in and around the Milford area. The project got its final clearance last week, and that means workers have already started cutting late on Friday. Struggling to stay warm and knowing they could face arrest at any time, Alex Latorto and Allison Petrick remained committed Monday morning. The pair locked themselves through the gate of a state forest in Milford Township and set up shop with friends, aiming to block pipeline workers from cutting trees in the area. We are willing to um, do whatever it takes to stand up for, um, you know, for this land. The group is protesting a new natural gas pipeline which is planned between Milford and Vernon, New Jersey, called Loop 323. Having just received notice to proceed with the project last Thursday, the protesters say the Tennessee Gas Pipeline Company cut 2,000 feet of trees last Friday morning alone. This area has drawn tourism, recreation, and real estate money as our economic engine. We don't have manufacturing. We sell the scenery. We sell the, uh, the beauty of this area. Some people who live in this part of Pike County joined the protest as the day went on. I think people are just so caught up with their everyday lives, and they, they feel it's, it can't happen to me. And, and until uh, the trucks actually start bulldozing the trees, I think we'll have hit home. The protesters are upset because they say the company, Tennessee Pipeline, already has a pipeline system running through the region. They say this new loop is just being added to increase volume at the expense of the environment. There's no short-term gain that could ever make up for the long-term losses of the property values, the eminent domain properties uh, that these pipelines are taking from people. Now, officials with the Tennessee Gas Pipeline Company have touted their project as one that's going to bring jobs to the area. As for the protest today, I spoke with a company spokesman by phone. He told me that he was aware of the protest, but he couldn't comment on it. We're live in the Scranton Newsroom tonight, Eric Dable.